Hey guys and welcome! Today on ATPL Theory we're going to be talking about D-rate and assumed thrust reduction. Now this only applies to big jets, similar to the ones I fly. First of all, I'd like to say that a jet engine is what we call a flat rated engine. Now what this means is that they create a constant amount of thrust up to a certain outside temperature and then the thrust is reduced electronically by an electronic engine control unit of some sort. It differs slightly from Airbus to Boeing. Uh, acronyms, you guys know aviation. We love the acronyms, right? So that is a flat rated engine. Engines have various D rate settings. For the aircraft I fly, we can either select 22,000 pounds of thrust, 24,000 pounds of thrust, or 26,000 pounds of thrust. Now, these are three engine power presets, if you will. So that's a quick explanation of what a flat rated engine is. Now, of course, we don't use full takeoff power all the time. We derate. Now, in my example here, let's say our aircraft weighs 70 tons for takeoff. So in our performance calculations, we've calculated that we need X amount of thrust. Let's say it's somewhere around the 23K margin, as an example. So this is the thrust we require to take this aircraft off. It depends on many factors, such as runway length, environmental factors and weight. So this line represents the thrust we require to get off the ground. Straight away from that line up to the max thrust is what we would call excess thrust. So from the graph here we can see that if we selected 26k we would have a lot of excess thrust which is not needed. If we selected 24k we would have a little bit of excess thrust. If we selected 22k we would not have enough thrust. So for this takeoff, we would select 24K. However, there's more to this. <laughs> we have assumed temperature corrections we can make as well. Because if we select 24K, there is still a little bit of excess thrust here. Now, we can trick the engine and the engine's computers into thinking that it's hotter outside. And bear with me with this. What this does, if we find the point where the required takeoff thrust meets the actual 24K line, right here in this case, because remember we said the thrust is reduced automatically by the electronic engine control unit past normally around 15 degrees, depending on the manufacturer. It will automatically reduce the power because the air is less dense and it won't have that performance. So if we find where that line of required thrust meets the 24K line in this example, we will see that that coincides with a temperature of 20 degrees outside. However, our outside temperature today is 10 degrees. So if we trick the computer and tell it that it's 20 degrees outside instead of 10, it will derate the engine even further down to that point there. At that point, there will be no excess thrust. Now you might be thinking, but if there's no excess thrust, surely that's bad. If you're flying small aircraft, light aircraft, we're used to setting max power and taking off like this. However, in big commercial jets, there are many reasons why we wouldn't want excess thrust. The more excess thrust there is on a daily takeoff basis, the more maintenance is required on the engine, the more it suffers. Also, the more excess thrust is used, the more fuel is used, which is bad for the environment. Another big reason is noise. The more excess thrust we use, the noisier the takeoff will be to the surrounding areas. Less noise pollution is good. And remember, at any point, us as pilots of these aircraft, we can select max thrust in a split second if we need to for any reason. I hope that's cleared up any doubts you might have had about D-rate or assumed temperature reductions. If you like this video and want to see more, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos, leave a comment down below. All the best and until next time.